Kerr ready to bounce back from FIFA best snub, Homrari returns for France after Hitman attack, and Canada on strike. This is our countdown to the cup. Until this is resolved, I can't represent this federation. And, and I'm such a competitor um, that breaks my heart and kills me um, to actually be saying those words out loud. What's going on there? Well, the She Believes Cup is always a highly anticipated one, but it could go ahead without 2020 Olympic champions Canada who are on strike. They're after equal pay and are protesting against dramatic budget cuts to the women's game. On a lighter note, the Cup could see two-time world champion Megan Rapino make her 200th appearance. She's currently three cuts away from that feat. Alex Morgan, who made the FIFA Best shortlist, will also be in action. This is a tournament you definitely don't want to miss, with all four contenders, including Brazil and Japan, ranked in the top 11. The Matildas are back in town. They'll kick off their Cup of Nations campaign against Czechia on Thursday on the Central Coast, before seeking revenge on Spain, who humiliated them last time out with a 7-0 thrashing. But now, the Tillies are on home turf. They will also take on the reggae girls, Jamaica. Speaking of vengeance, Sam Kerr will be ready to fire on all cylinders and show why she deserves to have made the shortlist for the FIFA Best Women's Player of the Year. Now, remember that wild story a couple of years back which saw France's Aminata Diallo accused of hiring hitmen on her national and PSG teammate Kira Hamrawi? Well, the latter has received a France call-up from coach Corinne Diak for the Tournoi de France against Denmark, Norway and Uruguay. Diallo was cleared of any involvement and has the backing of her teammates. According to reports, Hamrawi's return has ruffled a few feathers. European champions England will put themselves to the test without one of their biggest stars in Beth Mead, who is recovering from an ACL injury suffered at the end of last year. Are you planning without her then, effectively? Does this, does this, does this squad prove that? No, it's, it's a little, um, that's a little early to say. Well, she's definitely not panicking. The Lionesses will take on South Korea, Belgium and Italy in the Arnold Clark Cup, which begins later this week. And former Matildas boss Alan Stadich will be hoping to lift his first piece of silverware outside of Asia when his Philippine side take on Iceland, Scotland and Wales in the Pinatar Cup. While the Inter-Confederation playoffs begin on Saturday as 10 nations battle it out for the remaining World Cup final spots. It's going to be a stellar week of international football and don't worry, we'll keep you across all the latest in the women's game on the Optus Sport app. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.